goodness, for your goodness and, your mercy. and your mercy. Lord, I say Lord, thank you. Lord, I say thank you for your goodness, for your goodness and, your mercy. and your mercy. Lord, I say Lord, thank you. and sisters in Christ greetings in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ welcome to the last Sunday of September our month of God's goodness God has been kind God has been gracious this month we thank him for all the wonderful and glorious testimonies that came in this month from all over the world I pray that if you are one of those who have shared your testimony, may God make your testimonies to be permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are watching me from around the world today, I decree and I declare that the hand of God's goodness will reach you, will reach your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's lift our hands to Jehovah, the eternal one, once more and express our gratitude to him for seeing the last Sunday of the ninth month of the year. What a mighty God we serve. What a faithful God. Gracious Redeemer, gratitude to your name, Jehovah the Eternal One. God again has kept us by his mercies and by his goodness. I pray Alantoli Kalabrana and that the God who has preserved you to see the last Sunday of the month of September, the ninth month of the year, will preserve you through if Jesus tarry to see the end of this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree over you that as the year is coming and running to an end, your life will not come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, glory to God. Wave your hands once more and appreciate God. Return gratitude and honor to him. Father, we honor your holy name. We praise you. We worship you. Eternal God, we celebrate you, Lord. Lift a song of praise or worship. It in the best um, dialect you can express yourself to God for just two minutes and appreciate God express your gratitude to God father we appreciate you we give you praise thank you for healing thank you for deliverance thank you for open doors thank you for favor thank you for preservation thank you for your mercies God will give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. Brethren, closing this month of God's goodness, I discover that one major way by which God display his goodness on us is by divinely connecting us to good people. People that will stand for us, people that will fight for us, people that will speak for us, people that will go out of their way to see that we are well people that will stand for us in the time of trials in the time of difficulty and it's not that these people are naturally maybe good by nature they could even be your enemies but there is a divine mandate on them to do you good hallelujah god can even use your enemies god can even use people who hate you to do you good is one way by which God express and display his goodness on us by divinely connecting us to people that will do us good good people according to God's assignment upon them to favor us I pray that this week I pray that this week 
I pray that this week and the remaining months of this year, if Jesus tarry, may Jehovah God, the eternal one, introduce you personally to good people. In the name of Jesus Christ, in your ministry, in your career, in your business, may Jehovah introduce you personally to good people, people that will stand for you, people that will fight for you, people that will go out of their way to see that you are elevated, that you are well, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me well. 80% of the things that you are trusting God for, let me say it again, 80% of the things that you are trusting God for, God will always use people to do it for you. 80% of the things that you are believing God for, God will always use people or pass through people to do it for you, to make it happen for you. Is God doing it, but he's passing through men, passing through women to accomplish it. God wouldn't need to come down from heaven as God to accomplish those things for you. Yes, he is the one that is behind it, but he will use human vessels to accomplish those good things in your life. I don't know what you are believing God for. I don't know which is that that you are trusting God for that is good. I am praying in the name of Jesus Christ, that man, that woman, whom God by divine election has appointed and ordained to do you good, that has not found you, they will discover you, they will locate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Maybe you have located those people, good and fine. May God grant you wisdom that you might stay on course with them, that you might not lose them. But if you haven't found those people whom God has appointed and ordained to do you good, I decree that after this meeting, you will locate them. They will locate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Look at the Bible. Luke chapter 6 and verse 38. Whatever you have been looking for, Jehovah will use somebody to give it to you and it will happen to you this week and through the rest of this month in Jesus' story. Whatever you are praying for, whatever you are believing God for, whatever you are fasting for and you are seeking for from God, God will always use people, somebody to do it and to make it happen for you. May they locate you and may you locate them by grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. See what the book of Luke 6 verse 38 says, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over shall men, not angels, not spirit, shall men, even the good that you are doing, the seed that you are sowing, the giving that you are giving, in return, when your harvest is coming, there are humans, there are people, God has position to bring that harvest into your life. Shall men give into your bosom, for with the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Please look at the New Living Translation, Luke 6 verse 38. Everything you are trusting God for in life, God will prepare people to give it to you. Hallelujah. Give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full press down, shaking together to make room for more, running over, pour into your lap. The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. How? Through vessels God will use to return it to you in a great harvest form. Brethren, I decree that this week, by the internal mercies of God, you will locate these good people. Please write it down. Everything you are trusting God for in life, God will use people to give you. Look at the ministry of Jesus Christ. I discovered that this is one of the major reasons behind the success of the earthly ministry of Jesus. Jesus was surrounded with good people. As much as one of his disciples ended up as Judas Iscariot and betrayed him, that needed to happen so that the scriptures might be fulfilled because the reason why he came was to die to save us from the cause of the law of sin and of death. So he needed that, needed that betrayer needed to happen. But look at Jesus' life and ministry from birth till he was buried. 
his life was surrounded with good people and that was the one major reason one major reason behind the success of his earthly ministry number one and i'm going to show you scriptures when he was giving birth to the bible say the wise men brought him gift i mean jesus was born into riches and wealth yes he was born in a very humble place in a manger but he did not remain there have you ever taken time to look at the the cost of the gifts that were presented to baby jesus have you ever taken time i give you a homework go make that research good people brought him gift it take a good person to give one a good gift I decree in the name of Jesus Christ gifts that will change your life gifts that will change the lives of your children gifts that will change your ministry gifts that will change your business may God send you people that will give it to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ may God display his goodness through good people that will give you gifts that um alikra. listen to me child of God I, I, listen to me you can there are things that you can receive in one day it will turn your entire life around you will not believe you are the one that has been going through all that trial and challenges God will send you good people that we bless you with gift that will turn your life around. Look at that. Matthew chapter 2, verse 10 to 11. Matthew chapter 2, 10 to 11. Go check out the worth of the gifts that was given to baby Jesus. Matthew 2, verse 10 to 11. When they saw the star, may your star be visible. May your star, that, that, that which God sent you forth into this world, may it become visible. May the good people God will send to you, may they see your star. Brethren, there are good people assigned to help you. For some of you, the reason why they can't locate you or identify you is because they can't see your star. Your star is that gift. Your star is that talent. Your star is that which God put in you when he sent you into this world that will make you outstanding, that will distinguish you among many. I decree and I declare, whatever is been covering your star from shining, the Lord rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Every covering over your star, I rebuke it. Any evil gathering in the dark that is militating against the expression of your star, I arrest them. I arrest I arrest them, I arrest them, and I rebuke them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. These good people, which whom God will use to display his goodness upon you, they need to see your star. It's important they see your star. Your star is one of the reasons that we bring them forth to you, and they will do that which God has mandated them to do. Some of them don't even know they are doing it as a result of an assignment from God, because like I said, they could be your enemies, they could even be people that hate you, they don't like you, but still they are helping you. They look at you, they pick that pen, they want to say no to you, but they don't know why they are signing and they are saying yes to you. Because there is a mandate from God that they must do you good. This is what will happen to you after now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When they saw the star, may the good people, may your helpers, may they see your star in the name of Jesus Christ. Have you heard people say to you, the reason why I will stand by you, the reason why I will fight for you, the reason why I will help you is because of that which I see God has put in the inside of you. If nobody has ever said that to you, go back to God and cry in prayer. I've heard that several times. God have used me as a tool to do that also for people severally. And I'm still doing it to the glory of God. People must see that star in you to be provoked to do the good that God has mandated them to do. I pray for you in ministry. I pray for you in business. I pray for you that is a career person. I pray for you student, you young man, you young woman. May your star become visible in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't say, oh, when will it show? Jesus star started shining from a very young age. Remember the Bible called him the bright and the morning star. At the age of 12, he was already in the temple discussing and debating with the Pharisees and the high priest. I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, may your star begin to shine. And if your star is not been shining, it starts from today in Jesus' name. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Look at verse 11. Hallelujah. 
and when they were come into the house they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worship him and when they had opened their treasures good people good people and when they have opened their treasures may people open their treasures unto you from today may so you i'm talking to you man i'm talking to you woman in business may people open their treasure unto you i'm talking to you young lady young man may people open their treasures unto you they presented unto him gifts take note gold frankincense and merit go and check the cost of this gift that was given to jesus so don't walk under the illusion that oh when jesus was born in a manger he grew up poor no what happened to this gift they were his may god turn your story around in the mighty name of jesus christ as he journeyed through ministry as he journeyed in life through ministry god raised helpers for him people good people that stood around him and said no we are going to support you people whom his life was 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 a blessing to and god used him to make an impact in their life they in return they supported jesus they sponsored jesus jesus was surrounded with good people look at luke chapter 8 and verse 3 luke 8 and verse 3 glory to god and Johanna, the wife of Shusa, Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others. And made the, not just one, not just two, not just three. Hallelujah. So for anybody to come to say, as a man of God, that you do not need helpers, is a lie from the pit of hell. If Jesus needed helpers to accomplish his earthly ministry, how dare you think you can succeed and accomplish the program and the purpose of God in your life on earth without help us. Don't forget, I said, 80% of the things you are trusting God for here on earth, God will use people, God will use people to accomplish it in your life. I've always said this, there is no self-made man. Every man is made by someone or by some people. Glory be to Jesus. I know you are smart, I know you are intelligent, but there are things that can never come to pass in your life without helpers. These people are called good people by the mandate of God upon their life to do you good. Like I said, they might not be good by nature, but they are mandated by the grace of God to do you good. And Johanna, the wife of Susa, Herod Steward, and Susanna, and many others which ministered unto him of their substance. Please look at the New Living Translation. Luke chapter 8 and verse 3. Johanna, the wife of Susa, Herod's business manager. Look at the kind of people Jesus was surrounded with. I pray that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the influence of my voice as a preacher, as a businessman or woman, as a career person, as a student, I decree that from this day, as you are receiving these words of the Lord, may God raise you, help us, good people that will stand with you, that will fight for you, that will support you, people that will not give ears to rumors or gossip about you, people that will do all that they can to ensure that God's plan and purpose for your life find fulfillment. And like I said, if you have identified any of these people around you, prayerfully stay around them until God accomplish all that consigns you. May you not miss these people assigned to you by God. It's a dangerous thing to miss your helpers. May God protect you and keep you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And may your enemies not reach your helpers before you. The Bible says, and many others who were contributing their own resources to support Jesus and his disciples. So they were there for Jesus, they were there for his disciples. Amen. At bet he had good people. The wise men brought him gift. As he journeyed through life in ministry, he had good people. Out of these three women, with many others who were contributing of their own resources. Amen. Glory be to God. This was referring to Jesus, the one that is 100% man, 100% God, while he was on earth. Hallelujah. Praise be to Jesus. How I come, Jesus wasn't just calling money down from heaven. No. 
God used people to meet his needs. God used people to meet his need. How come God, Jesus was not just prophesying money to comfort? No, God used people to meet his need. And if you are under the influence of my voice, God has anointed you, God has appointed you to be a good person, to be a helper. You know what we mean by good as regarding to my message this morning. Amen. If God has appointed you to do good to his children, to his servant, or to the pastor of the church where you go to, or to his children, or to the poor that is around you, do not fail to do so. Because it's your ministry. In you doing so, the goodness of God will continuously multiply upon you and keep increasing you. In you doing good, more good from Jehovah will overflow you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even when he was on his way to be nailed on the cross, as he carried the cross with the burden and the pain, with the Roman soldiers around him, the Roman soldiers which were his enemy, mandated a man to help him carry his cross. Everyone has a cross to carry in this life. I'm carrying my cross in ministry. No matter how great or how humble or how low you are in life, rich or poor, everyone has a cross to carry. The cross sometimes is the price that you pay to get to the top. The cross sometimes is the persecutions and trials you must go through to get through to where God is taking you to. The cross sometimes is the challenges and the opposition that you must face in life to become all that God wants you to be. I pray that God give you grace to carry the cross. If you don't carry that cross, you might never get to your destination. There is no champions without scars to show. Every true champion has scars on their body to show. Amen, somebody. Glory be to Jesus. But I tell you, there are good people appointed, anointed by God, sometimes to help us carry this cross, that emotional cross, that pain you are going through in that relationship that cross that pain you are going through financially that cross that pain that you are going through ministerially that cross that pain that you are going through in that place of work amen sometimes you can't carry that cross on your own you need people to share that problem with you you need people that can help you carry that cross and that is one of the assignment of these good people see in the book of Matthew chapter 27 verse 32 before he's dead even his own enemy the Roman soldiers commanded and forced the man to help him carry this cross and as they came out they found the man the Syrian Simon by name him they compelled to bear his cross the Roman soldiers were the ones who compelled this man. Go read the whole of Matthew chapter 27. Look at the New Living Translation. When they saw the agony, the pain on Jesus as he was struggling to carry that cross to Golgotha, the Bible said they mandated this man. Look at this um, translation. Interesting. Along the way, as you journey through life, as you carry the cross of life, financially, ministerially, relationship-wise, emotional-wise, spiritual-wise, there are people that need to help you. If not, you might not survive carrying that cross. And I pray if you are watching me, you are listening to me, and that is too much, that thing you are going through is too much for you. And you are saying, God, this is too much for one person. I pray grace come upon you right now. I pray the Lord strengthen you. I pray the grace of God carry you through it in the name of Jesus Christ. Along the way, they came across a man named Simon who was on Syrian. And the soldiers forced him. Look at that. The soldiers forced him to carry Jesus' cross. They forced him to carry it. Hallelujah. May God use your enemies to cause people to help you. May God use those who are opposing you to cause people to help you. May those who hate you, who dislike you, who don't even want to see your face, may the hand of God use them to promote you. May the hand of God use them to increase you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the hand of God use them. The Bible says, and when God saw that Leah was hated, God opened her womb. 
Andelika. Let them keep hating you Why God keep making you and keep blessing you. Let them keep disliking you Why God keep honoring you and keep elevating you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I tell you, go charge the scripture. Jesus himself was a good person. Jesus was used by God to distribute the goodness of God. And if you have Jesus in your life as your Lord and your personal Savior, you are mandated, you are designed to also be a good person to someone, to those around you, to those that even don't like you because you carry the Prince of Peace, the goodness of God himself, our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. There is a lady watching me. Your name is Naomi. Naomi, the Lord is touching you right now. You have one child. Please get in touch with us. We've been receiving a lot of calls coming in. Confirmation of prophecies and word of knowledge. And I give God all the glory and honor in return. Naomi, you have one child. You are going through a terrible, difficult marital crisis and you are sick at the same time the devil is a liar i see the hand of god bringing deliverance to you because what is happening to you is what is happening to every woman in your family a killer all the women in your family the same thing is happening to them no woman stays in her husband's home and at the end of the day they end up afflicted with infirmity disease and sicknesses the lord is using you now naomi to rescue your family as a daughter of zion stretch your hand and get in touch with us with the number on the screen I break the hold of the wicked over your life I command now be free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I release the favor of God upon your child in Jesus mighty name how God act 10 verse 38 anointed Jesus of Nazareth hallelujah with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good hey so jesus was a good distributor so to speak everywhere jesus enter you see the goodness of god display everywhere jesus showed up he, you see the goodness of god is that is that same about you can people say the same thing about you if everywhere you go to instead is the spirit of discord among brethren the spirit of gossip, the spirit of blackmail, the spirit of backbiting, the spirit of wickedness, then that is not of God. Then you do not have Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior. If you carry Jesus in your life as your Lord and your personal Savior, you will be like Jesus Christ. He was a good distributor. Everywhere Jesus entered, he displayed the goodness of God who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. So to heal people is good. To deliver those who are oppressed of Satan is good. To preach Jesus is good. To help the needy and the poor is good. To encourage one another is good. To pray and intercede for one another is good. To serve in the house of God is good. To support the work of God is good. To give to the glory of God is good. Because these were all the things that Jesus was doing. Hallelujah, glory be to God. To go visit the sick in the hospital is good. To preach the gospel is good. And if you have Jesus in your life as your Lord and your Savior, you ought to be like him. Because in him we live, in him we move, and in him we have our being. God is healing you, blessing from that swollen stomach. A tip in one hand, I don't know, they say it is tumor. I cause it to dry up in the name of Jesus Christ. As I call tumor, I see there are many people in this category of word of knowledge. Hallelujah. Lay your hands there. God is healing you right now. Be healed and be made whole. We cause that tumor to dry up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. You will meet good people. Mark chapter 14 and verse 14. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen to this. This was just before the Passover. Mark 14 verse 14. This was just before the Passover. And Jesus needed an accommodation to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. And on this particular night, just before the Passover, he had no place 
to celebrate the Passover, Jesus was faced with an embarrassing situation. He needed a miracle. He needed an accommodation where they could celebrate the Passover with his disciples. I don't know what is that situation that you are faced with, that if God does not intervene, it is going to embarrass you. Maybe it's your house. Maybe it's your children. Maybe it's your school fees. Maybe it's your body. Maybe it's the sickness on your body. Maybe it's relationship-wise. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, you serve a God with whom nothing is impossible and everything is possible. And remember the Bible says all things are possible to him that believeth. If you believe God, and like I've always said, if it is the will of God, heaven intervenes for you now, it is coming to pass in your favor in Jesus' mighty name. And so Jesus prayed and had a revelation. So he asked two of his disciples in Mark chapter 14, verse 14, go read the whole book of Mark, time will fail me. He had a revelation after prayer and he said to them in Mark 14, verse 14, he said, and wheresoever he, sh let's look at verse 13, please. Mark chapter 14, verse 13 through to 14 to 15. He sendeth for two of his disciples and saith unto them, go ye into the city, there shall you meet a man bearing a pitcher of water. Follow this man. As you go into the city, you will see a man with a pot of water on his head. Follow that man with the pot of water. He is not a good man, but he's going to lead you to the house of a good man. Because we have a situation. We need an accommodation where we can celebrate the Passover and there is none yet. So after praying, I believe this was word of knowledge. Jesus received a word of knowledge and said to two of his disciples, he said, go into the city. I stand today by the authority of the word of God. I make bold to declare, I speak to you this week, go forth. Go back into that office where they have said no to you. I decree and declare they will say yes to you. Where they have turned you down and they have rejected you. Go back there. Go back to that bank for that loan. You child of God, believe in it to establish and to expand your business. Go receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Daughter of God, that exam that you are writing, go and get it in Jesus' name. There is someone watching me. Every job you get, you lose it within two, three months. Your problem is not interview. You get interview every now and then, but you cannot keep a job. Heaven intervene in your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Go back where you have failed before and succeed in Jesus' mighty name. So he sent forth two of his disciples and said unto them, Go ye into the city, and there you shall meet, there you, you meet a man bearing a pot of water, a pitcher of water, follow him. Wherever that man goes, follow the man. If the man sits down, wait for him to get up. Don't take your eyes off that man. Child of God, there are people in life you must follow to get to the good man or good woman God has ordained and appointed to do you good. If you miss this man with a pot of water on his head, you will miss your good man. Amen. And I'm glad that I stand privileged by God as one of those men that you need to follow because every servant of God, every mentor God has put before you, man or woman, is that which you must follow. If you follow them, you listen to their instructions and you are obedient to the word of God in their mouth, it will lead you to that which heaven has prepared for you. Most times we are disobedient to instructions and we expect the miraculous. And if you don't follow instructions, you do not enjoy the miraculous. Most miracles that we are believing God for, they are product of obedient to prophetic instructions. If you obey God and you follow God's instruction, that is why the Bible says obedient is better than sacrifice. You don't, you lose the miracle. You don't, you lose the manifestation that you desire from God. You want to live anyhow and enjoy that miracle and that manifestation, you will not. Amen. He said to them, follow that man. That man is not a good man, but follow him. Look at verse 14. And wheresoever he shall go in, say ye to the good man. Say ye to the good man of the house. The master saith, where is the guest chamber? Where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples. And look at verse 15. Glory to God. And he will show you a large upper room, furnished. The miracle God will give to you, you don't need any to, you don't need to contribute anything to it. God will give you an already made miracle. 
he will give you a miracle and he will take the fight out of it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ stop comparing yourself with others stop looking at others and judging your life because what God is about to do for you you will outshine those who look like they have gone ahead of you not in an arrogant way in humility and in glory to God and in praise and honor to his most holy name and he will show you a large upper room furnished and prepared there make ready for us all that you are trusting God for, that you are believing God for, is prepared and is ready in the hand of someone. Take note of that child of God. Every miracle that you are asking God for, except that which God Almighty choose to manifest supernaturally, except that which God choose to manifest supernaturally. That's why I said 80% of the things that you are looking up to heaven, believing God for, God has prepared people that he will use to deliver it into your hand and that is why child of God your attitude is very important if not you might lose that miracle that Jehovah God is planned for you open your hands say my father may I find favor before you and before man please child of God pray this prayer there are people you will meet you need favor before them my father my maker my father my helper may I find favor before you because it is God that will put your favor in the heart of that good man to help you in Jesus mighty name Proverbs 31 verse 12. Look at what the Bible says concerning the virtuous woman. Every woman listening to me and every man as well. Atopia, to be a virtuous woman, to be a great man, you must have this good quality. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. That is what the virtuous woman will do to her husband. She will do him good and not evil all the days all the days year in year out if you are watching me you are listening to me as a man or as a woman and you are always thinking of doing evil to people whom god have brought to you not necessarily your husband or your wife in your family in your place of work and yes in marriage as well then something is wrong something is wrong if you have jesus this is what is expected of you you will do good to those whom God has connected you with. You will be good to your husband. You will be good to your wife, sir. You will be good to your, to your, to your pastor. You will be good to your member as a pastor. You will be good to those you work with. Hallelujah. And as a boss, you will be good to those working under you. Hallelujah. As a family member, you will be good to the other members of the family. It's expected of us as Christians. It's expected of us as believers to do good and to be good if the God whom we serve by nature is good by deeds is good it's expected of us to do good and to be good not just for a while all the days of our life may God help us in Jesus name open your hand say Jehovah my father connect me to people that will lift me up clap your hands and pray Jehovah my helper connect me to people that will lift me up connect me to people that will lift me up begin to mention the areas you want God to connect you to people that will lift you up in my place of work in my business in my career in my home as I move from one place to another, one city to another, Lord, raise people that will lift me up, people that will do me good, not evil, people that will favor me and not evil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Look again, Mark 14, verse 15, we need to pray. That good thing you have been praying for, God wants to manifest it in your life. Mark 14 verse 15 again. Thank you Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Mark 14 verse 15. And he will show you a large upper room furnished and prepared. There make ready for us. My father, my God, give me a miracle. 
I will not sweat for. Halakushka Papa. Give me a miracle I don't need to struggle for. Akatolipima Andia. And be specific. Mention that area in your life that you desire a miracle that you will not sweat and struggle for. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Turn into prayer, child of God. Le Kramtoto Mikilipi Wahangredia. Han Toto Ponikataba. The room was furnished. The room was ready for them. The room was furnished. The room was ready for them. My father, my God, had telling me wa angre dili wa hakatish ketia bahandia. Father, I pray for me, O oh God. Give me a miracle I will not struggle for. A miracle I will not sweat for. And timi wa ankatima antaya in my ministry. Le krantote lima mahangre dia financially, materially, spiritually. Bless me with miracles, O oh God, that I will not struggle or sweat for in my life. Make it happen for me this week. In Jesus' mighty name. Open your hands. Say any demand from the wicked over my life is nullified in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not stop that miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ, clap your hands and pray. Any demand from the wicked, any demand from the wicked over my life, I nullify it. I nullify it. Any demand from the wicked over my children, I nullify it. Any demand from the wicked over my health, I nullify it. Any demand from the wicked over my ministry, I nullify it. Any demand from the wicked over my finances, I nullify it. Any demand from the wicked over my home, I nullify it. Any demand from the wicked over my business, I nullify it. Any demand from the wicked over my company, over my ministry, over my congregation, Lord, I nullify it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. Kala ba 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 ba. That cancer is being healed right now. Cancer of the bone is being healed right now. Lay your hands there. In the mighty name of Jesus. They told you that your consignment was displayed. Displayed is missing. I don't know what is in that consignment, but it's very important for your business. There is recovery process that is taking place right now. There is restoration that is coming to you this week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Get in touch with us on the screen. Appreciate and show God your appreciation because it's a miracle that will turn your business around in Jesus' mighty name. Keys to find good people. Please listen to me carefully, child of God. And you know, as regard to my text, to my preaching this morning, this day, depending on where you are watching me for, who these good people are. People that have a mandate from God to display God's goodness towards you. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Number one key is to go to God in prayers. You need to hear from God. You need to hear from God. Go to God in prayers. You need to hear from God. Mark chapter 14 again, verse 13 to 14. Jesus told them, you will see a man. Jesus told them, you will see a man. He sent it for two of his disciples. Mark 14, verse 13. He sent it for two of his disciples and saith unto them, Go ye into the city. There you shall meet a man bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him. You shall meet a man. Who told them? Jesus. They didn't just wake up with the idea on their own. They were with Christ. Amen. As much as Christ is in us, you know what it means to be with Christ is to be in the place of prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So make out time to seek the face of God. To be lazy to pray is to open yourself to be vulnerable to the wicked and to his attacks. Hallelujah. Don't ever get tired or ever get to a point where to go to the presence of God to pray becomes a burden. If the devil brings you to that point, friends, you are subjecting yourself to be oppressed by the wicked and to be destroyed. But may that not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. 
A prayerful Christian is a powerful Christian. And that is the truth. Because you are spending time with God. You enjoy the glorious presence of God everywhere and anywhere you appear. May that be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go to God in prayer. Seek the face of God. As regarding your business, as regarding your life, as regarding your ministry. Lord, I'm believing you for helpers. Lord, I'm believing you for a good one, a good man. Lord, I'm believing you for good people that will stand with me. Because like I said, in this regard of my teaching this morning, a good person mandated by God to display God's goodness to you, they will stand with you. They will fight for you. They will speak for you. They will defend you. They will help you. They will support you. They will not neglect you nor forsake you. Even when others have turned their back on you, they will stand with you. Akopana Angredia. Go to God in prayer. Jesus was the one that spoke to them. The Lord will speak to you. The Lord will give you direction. No matter what people are saying about that person whom God has appointed and ordained to help you as a helper or as a good person, go to God. It was Jesus that told them, go, you will find a man. And if God confirms to you that he's the one sending you to that man, sending you to that woman, whether in that business or in that office or in that ministry or as a mentor or as a coach, Offering, stay there. If you don't, you will lose and miss all that God has ordained for you. So number one, go to God in prayer. Number two, follow instructions. Follow instructions. Obey instructions. Divine instructions. Like I have said, behind every manifestation and miracle that God will release and make happen in your life, there is something to do. Remember what Mary said to them, the mother of Jesus. Whatever he says to you, do it. Even if the instructions look foolish and stupid, if God is the one saying it, obey God. Allah took my anger handia. No more wine, go fetch water. How stupid could that be? But they obeyed what happened. Wine came forth. Hallelujah. Blind man came to him, Lord, that I may receive my sight. He spit on the mud, put the mud on his eyes. He said, go wash your eye by the river. The man obeyed, came back seeing. Hallelujah, glory to God. Somebody else would have said, isn't that foolish and stupid? Yes. But remember, God will use that which is foolish to confirm the wise. If you don't obey God, you will miss out of all that God has proposed and designed and planned for you. Many of us, under the influence of my voice, the reason why you are stagnant today and you are where you are is because you felt you were smarter than God's instruction. God gave you instructions and asked you to do certain things. But to you, those instructions don't make any sense. Most times the things God will ask you to do, they don't make sense to the carnal mind. But if you dare obey the Lord, you will come out. There is a businessman, woman listening to people are mocking you and laughing you because of all you have stood for for God. God is about to shock them. The grace of God will turn your life as a living testimony and as a miracle in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Joshua, I've given you Jericho, but walk around that wall seven times. Look at that. But they obeyed God. What happened? Jericho wall came falling down. Follow instructions. We saw that again in Mark 14 verse 13. He sended forth two of his disciples and said unto them, Go you into the city and there you shall meet a man bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him. Follow him. Even if the man look, the man look wretched and tattered, follow him. Even if the man is acting funny and what the man is doing is irritating you follow him if the man sits down follow him don't don't run ahead of the man don't go ahead of him follow the man you stay behind if the man have to sit down and sleep somewhere for four days five days sit down there and follow him follow him that is the only way you can become all god wants you to be trust and obey if you really want to enjoy the Lord, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the fruit and the good of the land. May God grant you grace to be obedient in Jesus' mighty name. Number three, way to find good people as ordained by God. Number one, go to God in prayer, hear from God. Number two, follow God's instruction. And when God show you those people, they might not look like you expect them to be. They might look completely opposite of the picture of the kind of person you will love to follow or to sit under as a pastor, but follow them. Because God said, I will give you men after my own heart, not after your own heart. Number three, 
ignore distractions distractions will come the moment you're on the path of the lord and god is sent the good people that will display his goodness upon you the wicked will try to distract you he's a master in that because satan can't destroy you until he distracts you the moment the devil distracts you he destroys you that is why friends you listening to me broken focus is a major reason for failure most failures are people who lost focus in life look at it may god help you in the name of jesus christ second kings chapter 2 verse 5 when you follow people the devil will send people to mock you but do not be distracted second kings 2 verse 5 the sons of the prophet they try to distract elijah elisha when elijah was following his master elijah to receive the double portion of his spirit as he has requested for May you not miss your own double portion in Jesus name. The Bible says, and the sons of the prophet that were at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him, knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, yea, I know it, hold your peace. Look at how the New Living Version says, he said, keep quiet. There are people you need to hush in the journey of life. There are people you need to shout to and say, shut up, keep quiet. If you don't, they will distract you. I love Elisha. He asked his master Elijah for a very difficult thing, but it was not impossible. It came with a condition. His master said to him, Elisha, if only you see me, what you've asked is a hard thing, but not impossible. If you see me, you will get it. Then the group of the prophet, look at the New Living, New Living Translation. Then the group of prophets from Jericho came to Elisha and asked him, did do you did you know that the lord is going to take your master away from you today of course i know elisha answered but be quiet about it keep quiet shut up there are people you need to ask to keep quiet stop talking and part of the way you ask them to stop talking is to delete their number stop answering their call stop giving them attention because when you give the devil attention he will give you direction there are people that call you every morning. Their intention as instigated by the wicked, by Satan, is to distract you. You need to avoid them. Keep your eyes on the goal. Keep following. The good man is there. You will receive all that you are asking for. And all that God has ordained for you will come to pass in your life. Are you still there? Are you still giving? Are you still supporting? Are you still sowing? Are you still praying? Are you still following? Yes, I'm still following. Shut up. Keep quiet. Oh, that prophecy God told you. How come? How long are you going to be waiting for the prophecy? They that wait upon the Lord, they shall mount up with wings as eagle. They are not going down, they are going up. Don't let anybody discourage you from that which God has put in the inside of you. You are not competing with anybody. You are not running with anybody. You are running with yourself. Run at your own pace. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Don't let the devil send agent, women, men, God, or the things you watch on television or you see from social media to discourage you and to cause your spirit to be disappointed from following that which God has ordained to bring you into your destiny. You will get there in Jesus' mighty name. Number four, be good to others yourself. This is how you enjoy and discover this help us call good people. People God has mandated with an assignment to do you good. You yourself sow the seed of goodness to others. Be good to other people. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 12. Let's look at the New Living Translation. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 12. La posoko tepina handia. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 7 and verse 12. Do to others whatever take note please underline this in your bible do to others whatever you will like them do to you stop complaining if you are gossiping then expect people to gossip you if you are hating on people expect people to hate on you if you are an expert in sowing the seed of discord against brethren expect that to happen to you and you know what you give when it is coming it comes bigger because it's coming like a harvest may god have mercy if you have been a victim and you have put yourself in that position you want people to show you love sow the seed of love because every act of man is a seed 
whatever you are doing you are sowing a seed you want material blessing sow material seeds you want financial blessing sow financial seed you want spiritual blessing sow spiritual seed you want people to pray for you you pray for others as well glory be to god do to others whatever you will like them do to you how do you want people to treat your children when they are not around you treat other people children that way how do you want people to treat you when you are old treat old people that way if you want to respect sow the seed of respect he said this is the essence of all that is taught in the law and in the prophet this is the secret that's what jesus is saying all that is in the law and in the prophet the the entirety of the bible is centered on this matthew 7 verse 12 whatever you want others to do to you first do it unto others sow the seed first and then you reap the harvest you want to enjoy the ministry of good people you want to locate good people you want helpers to locate you be good to others you might not have the money to give but you can be good in kind you can be good in words words are also seed you can be good in words good morning god bless you stop cursing you can be good hallelujah by the things you say out of your mouth the lord keep you the lord prosper you change your entire life and watch god stop deceiving people stop lying you think you are smart you young woman you young man watching me you think you are very smart that's not smartness that's foolishness you think you are intelligent that's foolishness by being manipulative and corny and lying spirit no it's a seed you are sowing and the harvest will come people will manipulate you people will lie to you people will be dishonest to you friends the last key you want to enjoy and meet good people trust God for the right people around you Jehovah God will not fail you Jehovah God will not neglect you I see there are many people that are having an appointment this week the faithful God will go with you in that panel there will be good people prepared by God that will favor you I speak to you by the unction of the Spirit of God in the mighty name of Jesus every court case that will be attended this week as I see in the spirit is ruled in your favor in the name of Jesus Christ every sickness as unto death I terminate it now in Jesus name September ends with joy and with glory and praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you will step into October the 10th month of the year in the faithfulness and in the blessing of the Most High God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God open your hands say favor of God favor of God locate me this week locate me this week La Copana Anteligradia, Recocoshi Catato Lepina Ancatuli Biwazia, Radetele Gradicantonia, Maso Cudia. Favor of God, locate me this week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please write this down. Favor and success is meeting the right people. Favor and success is meeting the right people. Failure and setback is meeting the wrong people. Therefore, open your hand. Say, I decree and I declare, my Father, my God, position me in the right place at the right time to meet the right people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my God, position me in the right place at the right time to meet the right people. Please prophesy that over your life. My Father, my God, position me to meet the right to be in the right place to meet the right people at the right time in jesus mighty name i decree unusual results for you i cancel insults on your part in the name of jesus christ the son of god if you haven't given your heart to christ i ask you to do so now you don't have jesus you don't have jesus you don't have a future Christ in you is the hope of glory. Please ask Jesus into your life. In the honesty of your heart, say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart as my Lord and my Savior. I surrender my life to you. Thank you, Father, for saving me. If you have prayed that prayer, you are saved, you are washed, 
by the blood of Jesus Christ. I congratulate you in Jesus' mighty name. And I decree by the revelation of this message, encounter good people. Meet the right people in your business, in your career, in your ministry, in the mighty name of Jesus. May God raise you people, if you haven't met them yet, may God raise you people that will stand for you, that will defend you, that will fight for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, enjoy the goodness of the Lord. As we journey into October, next Sunday is the first Sunday of the month of October. It's our month of prayers. What a mighty God we serve. Prepare yourself. I pray God keep you and may the mercy of God stay upon you and your children. Don't forget, join me in preaching by sharing. The world needs to hear the word of God. And as you do so, God bless you, God multiply you, God keep you in Jesus' name. We thank you for watching this broadcast. We believe it has blessed you. If you have testimonies or praise reports, you can send them to plus two seven eight four five three seven eight seven two four. And if you have been blessed by this message, you can be a blessing to the ministry. Account details are as follows. Six two one one three nine zero four one four nine first national bank god would bless you and your testimonies will remain amen